Time now for the KSL In-Depth. Last week, you may remember a bad crash in Lehigh sent a truck flying sideways into a young man just waiting to cross the street at State and Main. You can see exclusive dash cam video of the crash right now on the KSL News Radio app brought to you by Any Hour Services. So watching the video, it's amazing that nobody died. The pedestrian, Jacob Kelly, was slammed into a third car with so much force, it caused a huge dent. Today, we're hearing from the man who was at the wheel of the truck. Our reporter, Brianna Bodily, spoke with him just a little while ago. So what's he saying? So just first of all, the driver of that truck, he's only 19 years old himself. His name is Alexander Arneson. This was his very first accident. And he said he didn't actually do anything wrong. He was just driving through the light. It was green. Then another car uh, actually hit him, swung him around, and that's when he saw the pedestrian was down. As soon as I stopped the vehicle, I, that was the first place I ran to. Just check on him, and at first he wasn't moving or anything, and it was like, well, crap, I don't know what to do. Watching all these uh, nurses and whatnot come up to him and try to help him out as best as they could. Now, as you can imagine, he was pretty shocked at this point. He said thoughts were running through his mind. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? We have learned, actually, in fact, that was just yesterday that we learned from the family of Jacob Kelly that he's doing a lot better than they expected. He has a lot of broken bones, but they thought he was going to have surgery, you know, go through quite a bit of rehabilitation to get back on his feet. Uh, They have recently learned surgery is not necessary. He is still in a medically induced coma, but he's doing much better. And today, Alexander was able to reach out to the family and say, hey, I know this was this accident was not my fault, uh, but I still feel somehow responsible, and I really hope Jacob is able to re- you know recover quickly. You know, Brianna, the horribleness is in, in the randomness of this. You're driving along, you don't do anything wrong. Suddenly, your car is being slammed. You're standing on the side of the road waiting to cross the street, and suddenly you go flying. Right. It, it, it's it's difficult to even conceive that because, you know, you think if you do something wrong, you could have an accident. This is dangerous. That's not dangerous. But this is just you're doing the right thing. And all of a sudden, boom, you're thrust into a news story. People are backed up for miles, for hours. Right. And Jacob Kelly had just recently moved to the state. He's from Nevada and he had moved to the state and was looking for a job, which is why he was walking around, you know. So he just happened to be there at the wrong time. Um, and same thing with this boy, Alexander, his first crash. He tried to do everything he could. He said he even remembers the thought going through his head as the crash was unfolding. I've got to try to avoid this car that's coming at me. But there's this pedestrian on the other side. What do I do? And suddenly it was all over and the pedestrian was down. That's terrible. And Jacob Kelly, the prognosis is good. He's going to make a full recovery. That's what they expect right now. Broken bones is the worst of it, which is really incredible. If you're watching that video right now on our app, it was quite the crash. All right. Thanks a lot, Brianna. You've been listening to The In-Depth at 15 and 45.